Welcome. Thank you for joining in today's special webcast entitled Database Monitoring, Beyond Compliance to Protective, I'm sorry, to Proactive Information Protection, sponsored by Natural Security. I'm Ava Vincent with SANS Institute, and I will be moderating today's webcast. Database active monitoring plays an important part in various regulatory compliance mandates by monitoring and logging all database activity to ensure that sensitive data is being accessed properly and by the right people, but DAM can also play a vital role in incident response processes. When tightly integrated within an enterprise security management platform, database monitoring provides valuable context that can be used to actively protect your network from data loss and fraud. Today's speaker is Melon Shakur. Melon or Mel Shakur serves as the authors of the CTO at Nitro Security, where he brings over 15 years of experience in software development and management information security and database technologies. He is responsible for developing and implementing Nitro Security's overall technology vision and roadmap, including next generation application and database security management solutions. We'll cover as many questions as we can during the Q&A segment after the presentation. Please type all questions in the chat box and send to all moderators. Now on to our featured speaker. It's my pleasure to introduce to you Mel Shakur. Thank you for the introduction, Ava. Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us on the webcast. Uh, I am Mel Shakir, and I'm the CTO of Nitro Security. Our topic for today is database monitoring beyond compliance to proactive information protection. We'll start off with a brief primer on database security, but my main focus during today's presentation will be to share my experience and in industry trends with you. Uh, hopefully that will help you make good choices with technology selection that's right for you, ensuring that database security fits nicely into the overall security program within your organization and provides benefits beyond compliance and proactive information protection. Okay. So anyone, anyone who has dealt with database security will appreciate it's much more complex than securing a device or an operating system. There are many aspects to securing a database. You know, some institutions have data discovery programs underway uh, to find where the sensitive data is that needs to be protected. Just a few acquisitions and a few layoffs is all it takes before you know there is a system out there with sensitive data that nobody effectively owns. You can use database crawlers to find sensitive content in tables, or you can use network discovery features in DAM products. The DAM stands for Database Activity Monitoring, and I will be using that acronym, acronym throughout the presentation, DAM. Well, scanning a database is for vulnerabilities is, is mandatory. Right? Many companies use homegrown scripts for VA. Uh, some DAM vendors provide free utilities, but there are leading database VA vendor solutions out there. Well, the idea with VA is to determine, determine risk and the risk posture so that you can harden your database. Uh, for example, the patch level reveals that attacks and exploits the system is vulnerable to uh, predefined queries against the system tables help determine unnecessary user privileges and help fix the access controls. Now with respect to access authorization, you have many choices. Uh, native database authentication, uh, which is internal to the database, or external authentication. Now at the OS level, or using LDAP, or using Active Directory. External authentication is typically a better choice, while internal database authentication, authentication techniques are generally weaker. But some platforms and versions, even recent versions, use clear text passwords, uh, sometimes with simple hashes, which can be easily sniffed and cracked over the network. Another area of protection is encrypting data at rest. Now this is usually limited to sensitive columns like social security numbers or credit card numbers, uh, to limit the performance impact of the database server. Now, to be honest, I have seen encryption at rest being used in less than 10% of all our customers, and even fewer encryption in motion, uh, that is SSL. In the bulk of the companies that do use SSL between the application and the database server are often 
are often outward facing web, web portals. Now this is because SSL also adds overhead to the end-to-end -end performance and achieving high performance using SSL usually requires special hardware like SSL accelerators uh, which in the end add to the bottom line. 